Today we're going to take a look at an Allen and hex head screwdriver set from HRB and that's coming up next here on Just EV Motors. Welcome back and if you like today's content don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more videos like this. So I was looking at a different set of tools to use for RCs and I came across these actually from another YouTuber. I heard Drectomaniacs talk about these HRBs on one of his videos and I was like well if he mentioned them and said they're halfway decent I wanted to give them a try. So I ordered me a set of the Allens and I ordered me a set of the hex wrenches here and we're going to take them out and take a look at them. I'm going to tell you some of the features about them and then we'll try a couple of them out. First we'll go ahead and look at the Allen wrenches here and you can see the package is kind of nice. Got a nice picture on it, no other infos on it, just all that. There was a bag that these came in and there was a sticker on there saying what type they were. But we'll go ahead, open them up here, get these out of here. And then we'll throw this off to the side. So we can see here that we got a 1.5 millimeter. Then we got a 2 millimeter. We got a 3 millimeter and I skipped over the other one and we got a 2.5 millimeter. These are the pretty much the most common sizes that you use in RCs. Now these are made out of titanium and a high speed steel and these got a hardness of over 60 which is resistant to stripping and breaking. They're rust free and durable and that's a real nice touch because if you got to leave these out in the garage where it can get uh, humid, moisture or even salt if you live by the ocean that'll keep these from rusting. Now the total length of these is going to be 175 millimeter or 6.8 inches. The head driver length is going to be 85 millimeter or 3.3 inches. The handle length is going to be 90 millimeter or 3.5 inches. And then the handle diameter is going to be 18 millimeter or 0.7 inches. Now another thing that's nice about these like I said is that grub screw and what you do is you take your two millimeter here and you can actually put that in your grub screw here and you can loosen that up and what that'll do is go ahead and take that out and then you can put it back in and you can go ahead tighten that up that's a real nice touch if you want to go ahead and use these in a drill it might be a little long for a drill but you can at least take them out and use them in a drill now what I got here is a Perline Badlands MX-28 and what I want to do is I'm just going to use the 2.5 millimeter here just for a demonstration. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pop that in the screw. And I can tell you right now, that is a nice tight fitment in there. I think that actually fits better in there than what my dynamite set did when I put these together. Go ahead and the texture on the handle is real nice. Go ahead and tighten this back up here. So far, I think this is really nice. I like the texture on the handle. And then the fitment inside of the screw is real nice and tight. The only thing I can see, I just did it right there. These seem to pop off kind of easy. You might need a thicker uh, o-ring on it, but that's not a big issue. We'll go ahead and get this tightened up and then we'll move on to the next ones. Now we got the hex wrenches here or other people call them net drivers. And you can see here we got four, five and a half, seven and eight. These are the most common sizes used again, once again in the RCs. Now these ones, these are made from a superb steel, aluminum alloy, and ABS with precision machining, resistant to stripping and breaking, rust-free, and durable. Now the one thing I've noticed about these that was different than the set before is the end cap on this is plastic, but it has a thicker O-ring, and it sits on there a lot better. That's a real nice touch on it. And then also, once again, you got your set screw here. You grab your 2 mil millimeter. Go ahead. Pop that out. And then put it in your drill if you need to use it in your drill. Go ahead, pop it back in, tighten it up, and then you're ready to roll again to use it as a nut driver again. Okay, as you can see, I got the 7.0 here, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and take the wheel off my Axial XAX-102 here, just to get an idea of how these are going to work. And it is a snug fit on the nut, and once again, the grip has a nice texture on it. That works out great and that feels real good to go ahead and get that nut off here. See, got the nut off right there. This is a nice fitment on there, feels good. So far I think I'm going to really like these. So let's go ahead and finish this video up.
So these seem like they're going to be a real good tool. Like I said, the only downfall I see so far I don't like is this end cap here on the Allen head ones. It's a real loose fit, as you can tell right there, and it came off in my hands. They need a thicker O-ring or something on there because these ones got a plastic end cap on there, and these things are a lot more sturdy, and they stick on there a lot better than what those ones do. And that's the only complaint I have about these so far. So as always, I'll leave a link down below to Amazon for you guys to check them out. That's where I pick these up at. Go ahead and you can read more specs on them or anything you want on there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. On Facebook, don't forget, I got an RC car group over there. RC Car Life, come in and join in on the fun. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.